Hello, my dear viewers. Welcome to this reading. This is a weekly reading for all fire energy, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. It is for the week of April 20 to the 27th from Saturday to Saturday. This is all about 2024, of course, and this is all about your love life, just all about your love, your relationship, your person, where you're at, where you're heading, what to expect, what is coming, what are they thinking, timing, anything you want to know should be in this reading. My dear viewers, the reason I've got these cards turned upside down, which there's nine of them, they are messages for everyone, for Aries, for Leo and Sagittarius. They're for each and every one of you. The only reason they're turned upside down is sometimes you can make things personal. If there's something in your mind and you've been pondering about something, whether it's a subject you want to know about or timing or what are they thinking, you can use these as a sort of specific to make it personal. Like ask one question and nominate one or nominate two or nom nominate two or whichever combination you want, you can use. These are phrases. These are different um, messages. So it's up to you. You decide what feels right, which one is the one that you want to pick to make a, make it all personal and specific for yourself. All right. Now that I've said that, I'll go through them. When I come to open them, when you're not ready, just put me on pause and then unpause it to get the answers. So first I'll go through a little bit and get some information. Let's see the most important message for all Aries, Leo and Sagittarius for the tw from the 20th to the 27th. And we've got freedom. Many of you are going to be experiencing freedom. Freedom is coming. The universe, your, your guardian angels, it's letting you know um, that freedom is coming and you are going to be liberated you are going to be feeling a certain happiness a certain success even though you may not feel it now but it's coming and they want you to know that you are going to be set free um, so that's very important okay beautiful now let's have a look at four important messages for all Aries Sagittarius Leo okay wow we've got the ten of cups and we've got the three of wands. Hmm, very interesting. The ten of cups shows that a lot of your wishes and dreams are about to come true. You are about to experience emotional fulfillment to the highest level. The three of wands shows a lot of rewards are coming for something that you've done well. Actually, for two things, two situations that you have to handle and done well. And now you're moving to the third section of your life or the third level and you need to be very expandable now. Expand your mind, open your horizon, look at the bigger picture and how to proceed. You might be at some point torn between whether you should do this or that or considering leaving somewhere. You could be torn between two things, family and work or family, love and something else you want to do, career. It looks to me like you might be torn, like I said, between both of these, but they both are going to be helping you. The rewards in the Three of Wands are going to bring you a lot of expansion in your mind, in the way you look at things, in your actual actions and overall life. So beautiful. And the Ten of Cups just gives you all that you wish to have, which is really amazing. Now, I'm going to cut it for two more. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the hermit. Some of you have been just taking time out and healing or thinking about things and wanting to be alone, searching for some truth as to am I in the right path? Am I doing the right thing? Is there anything I need to know? What is the truth? What is my path? Where will it take me? And that's why you are looking. That's why you got the three of ones thinking. Um, should you proceed to the next chapter? Should you still hang around? It's like you're torn in between your home, your love, your loved ones, and perhaps going somewhere and doing something. And I feel like very soon you are going to be guided uh, to what is the right thing to do. Very, very soon. I feel like something about Virgo here. I also feel like something about September. Now, we have the world. There is a major, major chapter in your life ending and one new one is starting with the world. It shows that you are going to be traveling, maybe a distance. Maybe you are going to fall in love with someone over um, 
of a distance and you want to see each other you're planning to see each other you're planning a trip going and coming we've got two ships here going and coming you know planning like sometimes you come and sometimes i'll come and there's that that could be specific for some of you but the reality of this uh, the major reality of this is that there is a new beginning that is going to take you to level you up in your um the majority um, of your love life, it's going to be elevated. You are going to be opening your mind and you are going to be reaching a level of freedom and happiness and a lot of um, passion, a lot of love, a lot of passion. A lot of passion comes from um, oops, from the um, the world because you're elevated. You're think you're like your thinking is elevated. You feel happy. You feel like you can do anything. Everything becomes heightened. And what you don't see coming is there's going to be a major rise in your money to help you with this traveling that you're doing and moving and, and with your home and family. So that's wonderful. Now, before I go to the next cards, what I'm going to do is open up these messages. So if you're not ready with some questions, uh, just put me on pause. So I'll put my glasses on and let, let us begin. We start with the first one. We've got passion. Passion. This is beautiful. Passion is all about love. It's about something really unique between you and someone. And it could be that we're talking about where there is, there may be a distance and you want to get to them. So passion without a doubt, um, very strong passion, igniting maybe, or has been there. Now you're planning to see each other. So let's have a look at this one. And we've got joy and happiness, happiness and joy. So there is something wonderful taking place in your life. Joy and happiness with this is just abs absolutely incredible. You know, because the Ten of Cups is about joy and happiness, absolute joy and happiness. It's about, you know, reaching your dream life, having everything you've always wanted and finally getting there. So that's beautiful. Okay. Now we'll go to this one. Oh, wow. We've got the swans. The swans is about soulmate, being with your soulmate. And it's to do with six, which shows something about June. I feel like six was here again. I don't remember where, but I saw six before. Okay. The six is also about love, and it is about um, spiritual love, soulmate, like a twin flame or soulmate, but soulmate more than twin flame. Twin flame is there too. Um, it looks to me like is as though you are going to be finding the one. That's why we've got the Ten of Cups. It's like you are finding the one, and that's, that explains the Ten of Cups. So the one. And you'll know as soon as you meet this person, you'll feel it. Deep in your soul, there's a very deep connection with this person, a major deep connection. And once it's like you've been, it's as though you've been told about this person and you've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And I feel like now is the time. Now is the time. It has reached to the peak of time where you will meet this person now and have a beautiful affair, love, relationship, and it'll it'll of course increase and increase into a beautiful uh, future and wonderful fulfillment letter a maybe a clue about their first name or initial first name or or last name uh, six chinese year of the snake somebody born in june that could be cancer or gemini it's amazing you know i kept on when i was shuffling the cards i kept on getting cancer cancer over and over connected to all of you and um and uh, there was one more. Mm, what was the other one? Cancer. I kept on getting cancer. That's all I remember because cancer kept on falling. There was another one that was falling. Aries. Another one. Aries unites you all. Like each and every one of you might be dealing with someone that might have Aries in them. Also, Aries kept on falling and cancer the most. Okay. Which we'll do that in a moment, actually. I'm supposed to do that in a few moments. Let me just go through this now. We'll come to this one here and see what it says. Um... The dog, wow, the dog, Chinese year of the dog, someone wonderful, someone uh, very supportive, very loyal, helpful, playful, funny, um, a beautiful companion, someone that, that you will love, you will trust and love. Uh, a beautiful friendship might be forming with someone incredible, and then it might turn into soulmate. There's the word soulmate, so you can see. So we've got two words showing us soulmate. Um, there it is here, the first word, soulmate. And there it is here again, soulmate. Where is it? Here. 
just showing you so that you know soulmate. So two important uh, messages about a soulmate. One has uh, number 10 and 18. The other one's got six and eight. Okay, let's talk about this one, the dog. The dog is, it can be a healer, comes in your life as a healer. Um, it, it can be someone that a friendship turns into love. So you start as friends and then you connect as friendship and then it turns to an amazing love, actually, incredible love. This is also about um, some of you dealing with pets or children. Could be to do with healing, doctors, nurses. You know, this could be a clue about your person that you're meeting, your soulmate. Could be a doctor, could be a nurse, could be in the medical field. That could be that also. And there could be also vets into animals and pets. That's also another possibility about them. 18 is connected to the Chinese zero of the monkey, Chinese zero of the goat, Chinese zero of the rat. We have Chinese of the rooster here also. And we have the Chinese here of the dog, just to give you the Chinese ease. Then I've got 18 is connected to number nine, which shows again Virgo here, very strong. It shows September, something about September. October is there also. So I'll say September, October. I feel like Libra and Scorpio are connected to this. I feel like also um, Virgo, very strong. Uh, double Virgo because um, August is also Virgo and Leo right and then you've got uh, nine all up is um scorpio and no sorry it's virgo again and um libra so these are the signs and i feel like there is this is going to be an amazing friendship and a, a, a friendship you will you will just be amazed at how it transcends to high levels now we've got i'm looking for a way out of this situation so i can be free so those of you who are looking for a way out to be free, well, freedom is coming. A lot of changes are going to take place to take you to this freedom. Major changes. And it's happening this year. You won't have to wait long. You are going to be free. And I feel like this is connected to the Chinese year of the dragon, connected to changes, connected to people that are wanting out of a situation because they just don't feel loved enough. They've had enough. And now they just want to walk uh, uh, walk towards the future and look at something better and i feel like the reason that you're feeling that you want out now because destiny might bring you your soulmate and that's why this could be happening very easily while you're thinking of getting free out of something i think destiny might be bringing you the one while you're searching for freedom right now let's move on to the next one Number five, of course, I forgot to say this, Taurus and Gemini connected to May. Something happening in May. Maybe May is a time where you'll be free. So you've got timing also. For some, it could be five weeks from now. Let's take this one now. We've got nine again, Virgo, September again, three, four times September. And it says, I feel abandoned. I feel abandoned. I often feel like others let me down. So this person could be also the same, feeling let down, and that's why they're going. They want a way out because they feel let down. Um, so I feel like I feel abandoned and I feel let down. Again, freedom comes to play here where you might be actually having your freedom and, and leaving a situation because nine is about endings also. So something is ending. September is going to be major. You might be at the crossroads where you actually take action. It is connected to Virgo, connected to the Chinese year of the monkey, connected to people born September are usually Virgo or libra so um that could be also a sign and um nine could be nine weeks from now also for timing early timing i feel abandoned mm. the final one says it's number six we've got a lot of sixes and nines june 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 has come up but september out of everything uh this is chinese year of the snake healing Due to love, there will be healing, spiritual um, love, a soulmate also connected to six. Six is also June, which is um, Gemini or Cancer. Um, it says, I know the universe works in mysterious ways, but sometimes I judge this situation instead of surrendering to it. The best thing to do is surrendering to it. But of course, um, sometimes it's very hard. It's easily said than done. I do feel that there is going to be a lot of healing coming towards you and i feel like in either six weeks or in, in june june is going to be a great healer my god if we 
look at the timing now it's practically the end of april we got one month yeah june six weeks is going to be june so by june i feel like something healing and love and, and and something wonderful is happening you are going to let go and surrender maybe you're not ready now but you will be now let's have a look at this one it says i want to tell you how i feel somebody wants to confess and tell you how they feel i want to tell you how i feel nice okay and this one here it says i wish i had treated you better somebody's gonna regret not treating you well mm, especially those of you who are leaving it says here i wish somebody's gonna regret not treating you well i wish i had treated you better maybe they'll say that as they lose you because when you lose someone then it's then only then that you realize um how much you mistreated them or how much like you regret you know you wish you did better you didn't lose them loss is always uh, the case that makes people really think and regret okay so now that we've got all this established my dear viewers let us begin to see further information let's see what else is happening so we've got september we got a lot of thinking by september a lot of changes are happening in your life my dear aries leo and sagittarius major because we've got the virgo card in september here again the hermit now let's have a look at at least three more messages oh my god this synchronicity is, is outrageous many of you are thinking of leaving that's what this is all about many of you thinking of going and i say three months from now and it's amazing like three months from now is practically july yeah i'd say by july three months from now um you're really thinking of leaving and opening your mind to actually going somewhere you want a way out of something and you are really thinking deep like with the hermit deep thinking about leaving and i feel like you will you are going to be leaving leaving a situation and freeing yourself from it maybe you do feel abandoned maybe you feel like as though nobody really cares and that's why this person ultimately maybe is regretting that you are leaving but i feel like really you're leaving and it is right after leaving when you are in the process of thinking of expanding your horizon and looking at what other options you might have where you want to go maybe it is at that time that you are meeting that person which is going to be your soulmate because don't forget once you leave you are destined for a lot of happiness so even though you're leaving you are destined ultimately for an amazing um happiness with the ten of cups and the soulmate card with the swans so i really feel like despite of you leaving planning to leave you're doing it for one reason feeling abandoned perhaps or wanting to break free feeling unhappy but it's happening for a much more bigger reason um, you are destined to be very happy and that's what it is i feel like there is a passion coming and you're in the midst of your planning to go i feel like there's going to be an incredible passion maybe with the, someone very close like you might just start as friends and it just ignites and becomes bigger but there is passion without a doubt big time as you are this is when you are in the process of going and taking you know a bigger step in your life and freeing yourself at a time of freedom it's amazing we've got the main card here freedom and then we've got right after that we've got passion so passion is coming with freedom as soon as you're thinking of leaving freeing yourself there is a lot of passion taking place in your life passion so that's that one okay now that was very very deep this was here i think and this just came now yeah right so we've got that and then we need one more there are two more we've got the page of swords this is connected to air energies those of you who air energy was another one that kept on coming air itself like air uh which i will do the cards soon they're gonna you'll see this coming cancer air aries kept on falling the most was cancer that i talked about anyway air energies aquarius gemini libra so those fire energies that are dealing with air i feel like there is some sort of either connection soulmate connection you know a, a very deep passion or perhaps 
you know, an ending where feeling unloved and leaving. And then I'll do just one more. I'm just trying to put these in a place. Actually, I'll put them over here so there'll be room. All right, like that. Okay, and finally, one more. And there's the air energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Very interesting. Someone that's very honest, brutally honest and truthful. And you're leaving the past behind and moving. Many of you are leaving the past behind. Now, before I start clarifying, uh, there is one thing I need to do. I'm going to go through and put these over here. And what we're going to do is find out what are the star signs that you all are connected with and united with. Which car, Which star signs? We're going to take four. Remember I said Cancer, Air, and Aries were coming. So let's see what unites you all and what you are dealing with the most. Okay, so we got Virgo, which was the September and was the Hermit and the Nine they kept on talking about. Virgo, number one. It could be um, either yourself or your person or the third party that might be involved, that you might be feeling neglected for some. Could be. So let's see what else unites Aries, Leo. Did it open? No, it didn't open. Okay. Um, Sagittarius. Okay, we got one Sagittarius. <laughs> Sagittarius. Okay, unites everybody. So what else? We need at least four, uh, two more. Two more signs that you might be dealing with. Uh, Mercury, the ruler of Virgo and Gemini. Mm, so we got double Virgo here. Remember how we're getting September, September, Virgo, 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 the Hermit, 9-9. Nine, nine. Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. There could be Earth energy coming in your life because Earth energy, uh, my dear fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Earth is what gives you foundation. So I think that's enough. Is there anyone? Oh, there is one more. And this other one is Taurus. So Taurus is also Earth. So there is so much Earth, only one fire. Cancer didn't come up, unfortunately, which is really shocking. Okay. While I was shuffling on the intention, it kept on coming. So it just doesn't make sense. doesn't matter. Um, now, my dear viewers, before I do everything else, I'll just get some more messages and then we'll clarify the cards. Let's have a look. What's important? Flirting. Hmm, something really nice is happening for some of you. It says, um, extend your lightheartedness, enjoy the energy together with someone, and it's okay to flirt and have fun and enjoy. Maybe this friendship flirting is going to bring you that friend that later turns into a soulmate with the dog. So let's have a look. What else? We're going to take two more messages for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. One fell, okay. It says here engagement. Some of you are taking your relationship to a higher level. It looks like it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Wow, that is beautiful. Commitment. That's why we've got the doves. Sorry, the swans. So it looks to me like you are. That's why we've got the ten of cups. So it shows to me that your relationship will be escalating to higher levels much higher levels than you are now it is going to reach to um, happiness it's going to reach to engagement leveling up and ultimately having your dream life with this person that is truly magnificent wow my dear fire energy aries leo sagittarius this is magnificent this just confirms that something magnetic is taking place one more message so the flirting is going to take you to the next level, especially if you're meeting your soulmate and meeting the one as it came. Look at that. Everything sort of um, synchronizes to the same theme. A heart-to-heart -heart conversation. It says, I honestly... No, sorry. I just put my glasses on. Sorry about that. Honestly, discussing your feelings with each other is going to give you... Um, a lot of connection, like deep, it will deepen your connection, a heart to heart conversation. So that's another one that shows that things are going to get better and better. And for some of you, sometimes deep hearted communications gets you to understand where you are and where you're heading. And then you realize that maybe it's time to go. For some, it'll be that way, and for others, it'll be the passion and the igniting of something magical like engagement here you see a passion can turn into a great engagement very easily passion into engagement 
You see that? So something um, incredible is taking place without a doubt. Something magical for many of you. Many, many, many of us all. Because I am Sagittarius Leo with Libra. So let's have a look. Two messages for all of us. And see what what are some important messages. We'll cut them. Starting with the first one. Wow, that's a beautiful one. And it says, soulmate. Oh, my God. This is the third time we got soulmate. It says, your soulmate is already with you in spirit, right? It says, believe this, and they will manifest physically soon. Soon you are getting your soulmate because we have so many messages of soulmate. So many. The soulmate was here. The soulmate was there. Everywhere soulmate. We got soulmate. This is incredible. And the soulmate could come as a friend and then turn out to be your soulmate. And then you're having that happy ever after, sort of, which is incredible. The soulmate is going to be the one bringing this on, this um, amazing. And also, not only this, also the engagement. Don't forget, we've got escalation of a relationship that's escalating to high levels, right? I'll just take the swans and I'll put this one here. Have a look at this. The soulmate engagement. And then you've got the swans also. I'll put the swans over here. So we're talking about something really incredible. Something that is igniting, that is going to be spectacular. And it, to me, it looks like it is a soulmate that can take a relationship to a level of engagement, to a level of uh, so much love and so much uh, happiness. Because the Ten of Cups is the highest level of happiness. So soulmate, and you've got the doves. Uh, the, oh, why do I keep saying doves? Uh, the swans, the beautiful swans. So I truly believe that there could be something incredible going on here, something really magical. And I feel like this soulmate, this situation is going to escalate to marriage, to future, to engagement, to a very high level of um, commitment. And that was your first message. How amazing. Mm, absolutely amazing. All right. Now let's see one more message. Somebody's going to tell you how they feel also. So that's very interesting. The next one says acceptance is the key to inner, inner peace. At times we must, we must accept. At times we, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond your control. When things become beyond your control, that's the time you have to accept. Instead of holding resentment and getting angry, you forgive and let go. That's the only way to inner peace. Holding resentment, trying to change situation, trying to control situations that are falling apart or changing to the point, you know, where there's no going back. It just, you have to, you have to accept things. I feel like some of you are going to have your freedom and release and some of you are in the process of meeting the one you might have already done that. Some are ahead of um, each other. Uh, the, you know, some are ahead of uh, the other. Like, for example, um, you know, each one, don't forget, like the Aries would have, probably would have gone through this earlier maybe than the Sagittarius. So anyhow, let's move forward and see what we need to know. Yeah, some of you are grieving the loss of someone or have already grieved the loss of someone. Um, I feel like Sagittarius might have been grieving the loss of someone, possibly. Anyhow, let's have a look at the Ten of Cups. It's just obvious. Oh, my God. Look, <laughs> I was talking about the Ten of Cups, looking at it, and I shuffled the card, and there's the Ten of Cups. And there's that rise in the money. Wow, I'll put, the, put it here. I was looking at the cups for all fire energies. Let's see. What do we see? Wow, you are destined for an amazing life right after leaving. Emotionally unhappy, grieving the loss of someone, uh, of a situation that you're leaving behind, feeling that you have to go, let go of something, feeling unloved. Some of you feeling abandoned, looking for a way out. Even though you are, but you are grieving the loss. But the, after this, it is after this that you are destined for a lot of happiness. Because we're talking about this Ten of Cups. You see that? Ten of Cups twice. It's after this that you are going to have perhaps meet your soulmate. The soulmate is coming. Maybe at a time where you're leaving, 
you're having your freedom and then you meet your soulmate that could be a very strong possibility but you're destined for a life of abundance and happiness you're not going to be alone you are going to be with someone wonderful that's for sure someone incredible okay so we got the ten of cups and the nine of pentacles that's amazing now um let's move on to the next level i feel like it's going to be a water energy because i kept on having that it could be other water energy because i kept on seeing the cancer three times and then we got three times earth energy virgo being twice or more than anything and then taurus and the last one is capricorn of course but i mean we've got virgo and majority of virgo okay let's have a look at the three of there's the water energy i was talking about there could be a cancer coming in the story or oh, pisces someone will inspire you that's for sure let's have a look at the three of uh, ones um twice let's see what is this um where is this energy take you i guess it's this energy that's taking you out and opening your mind to leave it's empowering you to have your freedom power control over your life and journey finally you're able to leave and once you leave then you are able you are able to have your freedom finally you are once you leave you are having your freedom and that's what you want you want your freedom to move on to start fresh and and the three of wands is giving you that freedom you're absolutely having the freedom so that's what the three of wands is all about having your freedom and having power to move forward someone will be inspiring you and all your questions with the virgo again hermit twice virgo hermit asking where will i go what will happen you are inspired by the universe and you are helped when you see something uh, an area of your life you feel defeated and there's nothing left in your hands to do it's time to go and you'll feel it and you'll know it when it happens now let's move on to and see who is this air energy starting with the page of swords for all aries leon sagittarius wow it's someone that will help you empower you it could be an earth energy virgo here very strong or taurus or capricorn earth energy that is going to give you the strength the power to move forward or rather it could be someone my dear sagittarius someone that is already in your life that has earth energy or coming in your life to give you a lot of power someone very uh, someone that you can depend on someone incredible like earth energy virgo being number one taurus or um what's the other one capricorn i feel like it is the earth energy that is going to be, give you the strength the power to move forward and I, I feel like maybe someone has already told you about this they've guided you through this or those of you who are dealing with air energy maybe you're leaving air energy aquarius gemini libra you're leaving them behind and moving towards earth i feel like earth energy is going to be the one because we've got a lot of lot of earth energy here in your reading a lot of rewards and great love is coming right after an end of a chapter that suffocated you and you just can't handle a lot of rewards and a lot of fame recognition being loved being really wanted and treasured and and i feel like it's going to be with your soulmate this is what's coming now let's have a look at the queen of swords and see what this energy is all about is it that air energy again that some of you are leaving behind or you might be leaving behind people that have air energy in them let's see the queen of swords for all aries leo and sagittarius love life wow wishes and dreams come true it says a little bit of patience and you'll understand what's going on you'll have your balance you'll have your stability and you know maybe it's time for you to be nurtured a lot of nurturing is coming um putting your emotions aside you'll be able to proceed in in the truth and become more practical and more strong and more resilient um what helps is your wishes your wishes being granted manifesting things right in front of your eyes is going to help you give you the stability you need and ultimately the happiness you need but um, i feel like now you're too emotionally um entrapped soon the emotions are being released and you're leaving and that's when you become logical and practical or somebody guides you to be truthful with yourself and to be practical and to let go of something that no, no longer is working an area of your life that is becoming your you know there's nothing in your hands left anymore it is time for you to leave there isn't enough emotion some of you feeling abandoned some of you feeling unloved and some of you just want your freedom because you know there's nothing left in in a situation and that's what i feel i feel like you're moving towards the next 
level and you might not be ready to start a relationship but some of you will ignite quickly with with someone with passion you are destined for a lot of happiness that's that goes without saying as you can see here destined with a lot of happiness coming your way that's for sure so it just needs a little bit of time maybe that's why first you're meeting this person as a friend connecting as a friend and then slowly flirting and then after the flirting comes the joy and happiness and the connection and the passion and then ultimately the engagement and the happy ever after. So all that is happening slowly, slowly, slowly. Um, you're taken out of where you are and being put in a very wonderful position, in an excellent position, and you are going to be loving it. And that is the end of your reading. I do hope you enjoyed it, my dear Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the reading. Let me know what you think. And um, always remember, when there are things that you can't connect to, it might be someone that you might be leaving behind might be thinking that way. For example, right? For example, let's say you're leaving behind an air energy, Aquarius. Just, just an example. We've got two air energies. And when you're leaving this person, you finally take the step and you're moving. I wish I had treated you better. This isn't you saying it, of course, but that person might be thinking it. When they lose you, they might be thinking um, that, oh, I, I wish I had treated them better. They wouldn't have left me. So remember, not everything is directly for you, but it can be indirectly for you. Always remember that. But the great news is you are destined for a lot of happiness, and that's all that matters. Happiness is the most, the key factor to happy life and true happy life and you are destined for that as you can see with the ace of cups the greatest gift of all is coming and the greatest gift is extraordinary happiness coming your way without a doubt so engagement of course it will escalate to engagement when there is so much and especially especially when we're dealing with a soulmate remember that when it's the soulmate there's no way out there's only one way happy ever after when it's a soulmate so I wish that for all of you, for each and every one of you. And that is the end of your reading. Please do give me a th thumbs up. Let me know what you think. And help me support me by subscribing to the channel. It doesn't cost anything. It's absolutely free. Just to click away. That supports me a big time. And watching the videos all the way to the end, that's, that mostly supports me a lot. So I would really be in gratitude if you would consider uh, doing that for me, watching videos all the way to the end. A lot of love and light and namaste.